I want to put this huge disclaimer right here because I was just not aware of the issue. One of the mods that we'll be talking about, the character customization clone, the clone, not the manager, the clone, has a problem where if you clone someone else's spawn into your main pawn, it will be banned from the rift. Your pawn won't appear on the rift at all. And some people had that, uh, that concern with character manage, which I didn't even knew it existed. Uh, the footage in the background, you'll see them summoning my pawn shown in the video later, which is using the appearance of my Arisen, which I use the character manager mod to achieve, right? So my pawn is not banned online, I'm using a Steam auto account, so there was no problem in there. Some people uh, expressed some concerns in the comments of the other mod, which is why I came here to test before posting the tutorial. So anyway, be warned, your character will be banned if you clone someone else's pawn with the clone mod, not the other one. Hello, today I want to share two mods, one that just released and another one that has been out for a week. So let's jump to it. Character Manager just released today, a few hours ago. Uh, this is a, a blast from the gods or from Sylvan Yajin himself, which is the creator of the mod. What this mod is, or Yajin actually, should have just said Yajin. Anyway, the Character Manager is literally a save character preset, which should have been in the game. It's not. You don't have this function in the game. So, that's essentially it. You save the appearance of your character in a preset and you can just go and do something completely different. And then if you want to go back here later, you can just go in and use it. Just like right here. Tags for this mod. Character preset. Nice. Uh, now, character customization clone. Hey, I saw this sick pawn walking out there and I want to copy his appearance. Uh, this mod allows you to do that. Now, this mod will refer to uh, to the pawns for uh, as their monikers, not their names. What do you need to install this mod before we jump into it? You need RE Framework, which is just a input 8 DLL, which you just download the RE Framework. There will be just a DLL in the folder. You go in here and you drop into the, uh, your game folder, which should be Steam Library, Steam Maps, Common Dragons Dogma 2, and mine is right here. So you just drop that shit in there. And you're good to you're good to go. Now for the other mods, the character manager and the character customization clone, you just go in there, boom, download the mods. Uh, don't forget to track and endorse. So let's go into it. You just drop it, the input DLL, and you're right here. Character customization clone. You just extract, open, and you see that you have a RE framework. Now for every mod that you want to install. Using the RE framework, you just go in here into your shut the fuck up, that's the wrong folder. You go in and drag and drop into your Dragon's Dogma 2 folder. Uh, that is one way of, of installing it, or you can just uh, get your zip file and download the Fluffy Mod Manager, which will be a executable, a launcher, if you will. Uh, and you drop into Games, Dragon's Dogma 2 mods, and you just drop the zip file in here. Uh, I think for you to get the Dragon's Dogma 2 folder, you have to open the launcher first and kind of select what game you have. I think it's like right here, choose game and blah blah blah, you just find the game. And the, sh uh, the folder will show up in there, eventually. Uh, to install the mod, you just throw them in there and you have the, f the flip switches right here. You just flip them to white if you want the mod to be installed and flip them to gray if you don't want. That's how Fluffy Mod Manager works. If you want to do it manually, that's how RE Framework works. Now, anyway, uh, let's show how you use the mod and RE Framework. For RE Framework, you just press insert on your keyboard. Now, let me open the menu. Uh, our framework has a bunch of stuff you can do. You have free camera, which I was just using, that allows you to woo free camera and allows you to go into photo mode and get better photos and blah blah blah. You know the drill, and it allows you to bug your your menu as well. If you exit like this, there we go. We just bugged our menu, and <laughs> it's not like you just lose the clock, but uh, just keep an eye for it. Uh, you have the kind of speed hack, which just speeds up the entire game, everyone around it, and I don't, it's up to you if you want to use it. But your mods will be right here, script generated UI. Now I have a bunch of mods, we're looking for customization, clone, and character manager, so how do we use them? 
Uh, you go to the barber shop. You need um, First impressions count uh, for much. art of metamorphosis. Like, go to modify appearance. And arisen or, or shut the fuck. Thank you. Arisen or a main pawn. Now, uh, yeah, that'd be arisen. Now, this is my main pawn. Actually, I just swapped to their appearances. But so let's go through character customization clone first because, of, like, whatever. Uh, you saw that we have Shrek and Kratos in the party. So let's say I want to be Shrek, right? Uh, I'm gonna copy Shrek. I selected him, copy him. So like, oh, thy piss, it's not working for me. Oh. You have to go into detailed customization first for both mods. If you're not into detailed customization, it won't work. So now paste Shad and we are Shrek. Now we want to copy Nathan, which is Kratos. Boom, Kratos right there. Anyway, I want to be my main pawn, which the moniker is Sage. Copy, paste, boom. I don't think the character customization clone allows you to save presets or go back or anything like that. So for that, we use character manager. So right here, I have Sodden. You can see that if I load, it is the same character. I think that the, the, we, the years were a bit off or not. I don't know. Anyway, I have Sodden right here. And I have La Bullet, which was my main reason. These are presets that I saved. You just go in here and then blah, 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 blah. And you save the, the preset. And then, again, as I said, you have to be in detailed customization to load in your preset. Uh, the mod already comes with a preset. It's called Example. I don't know who this is. Maybe the main pawn of, of the creator, Yajin. Maybe the reason. I have no idea. But this is just how you wor it, it works. You just save your preset. And you can just load it when you're in detailed customization and just get the heck out. Actually, let me, let me just load because I think the ears were off. Yeah, the ears are off for some reason. Oh, okay, now we got the ears right. Anyway, just go there and confirm it. Why, sir? You yeah, 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 exquisite. I know. But anyway, uh, this is how you use both of these mods. I hope it helps. And I hope it, the mod gets more traction. And that's it. Oh my god, I completely forgot about saying this. If you're paranoid like me and like, dude, what if I get my game deleted? What if my PC dies? Where will be my my, my character preset that saves? Uh, let's go back. Dragon's Dogma folder, RE framework, and I think data. Yes, data. Uh, the data folder, boom, it's right here. And this time for sure, that's it.